feel like there's something on the lens. Now that is better. We are so back. There's nothing cooler than seeing your local game store grow. Millennium has been our home for years, was our gateway into Yu-Gi-Oh, the foundation of a lot of our friendships, and this summer they moved into a new 30,000 square foot location, officially making it the largest game store in the United States. They spared no expense at making their warm, enthusiastic passion for gaming tangible through every element of the shop. They have the largest selection of board games, every TCG you could want, every accessory on the market, an expanding Japanese import section with gacha machines, and they're firing anywhere from three to five events a night. Everyone at Millennium Port their hearts into making everyone's experience the best it could be. And as someone who's there every day, I've never met a more caring and committed team of people who all collectively find joy in different realms of the gaming world. They love their community and it shows. There's someone for everything and something for everyone. All gamers and collectors are welcome. So if you're in the Rochester, New York area and you're looking to play something new, come down to Millennium and get your game on. So today we let the universe, aka AJ, choose what deck I will be playing today. It is a brand new format, and I honestly can't decide which deck I want to kick things off with. I'm more comfortable with Sword Soul, but I do think Vanquish Soul is the deck I want to play competitively this season. So I'm actually really grateful that Vanquish Soul is the deck box that AJ ended up choosing. I've been playing Vanquish Soul since release, and I can't wait for the new support out of Age of Overlord. And I really think with all the utility this deck can play, like Tikbu, Shifter, Fenrir, Bestials, to combat decks like Tear, Branded, Unchained, and Pearly, on top of the fact that this deck just thrives on interruption, it's an extremely unique deck, and it really rewards the pilot when played effectively because uh, if you're not managing what attributes you have in your hand, uh, you lose. <laughs> I really want to start improving my technical play and I think this deck is a step in the right direction. The goal of today is to see if we simply like the build we're using and if not, we can always switch it up for episode two. The beauty of Locals is that it's a great testing ground and the best part is our community here that I'm extremely grateful for is that we all want to see each other improve and get better and that's what we're going to do this season. All right, y'all, first day filming in the brand new location, first day of the brand new ban list, I think we need to take a look at our deck. So this list is what I wish I played in Cancun, but what I chose to play the last two weeks. However, with the changes to the new forbidden and limited list now being in effect, I really wanted to just go over deck building and some of the thought process, because we don't really do that a ton here, what I'm choosing to play instead now and why. So first off, we're going to be removing something like DD Crow, which has been fantastic. We are just going to sub in something like the Bistials here. This is really good against the Unchained matchup. I do think Brandon will see a lot more plays. It should theoretically be really good against Mana Diem, a deck that I am anticipate playing against a lot. And because there's no Arise Heart, I do think we're going to see a few more people try the Tier Limit strategy. Another card that I want to talk about is the Nibiru. This card was fantastic the last two weeks. However, now that the Unchained decks have basically learned how to play around it, we're going to take it out and play something like Droll in the main deck. This card may not be amazing right now, but this is just that thought process. Mana DMs coming back into the format, you really don't want to lose to stuff like that. Though it may not be good against the branded cards, it's really good against the Chimera portion of a lot of people's decks. Or this can give you more of your rogue coverage against things like Sprite, Runic, or even the Adventure Engine. That being said, this is the list we're going to try to bring into today, see if it works, and if not, it's okay, it's just locals, we can hit the drawing board again next time. Let's head into some games. against AJ, I lose the die roll, typical, but my hand is bananas. He goes first and I fire off shifter just to be safe and he activates fountain and passes. Gross. I decide to hold the Fenrir and use Raisin to get access to Caesar and Fenrir is a much needed earth in my hand for Caesar. I am under shifter as well, so we set up the link one using Pantera off of Stake Your Soul. Summon Mad Love off the link one, grab continue because we did draw Dust Devil for turn and then we summon Caesar to ensure a tower's on the board and then can use the little Vanquish Soul's quick effects as interruption. I still don't know what version of Runic AJ is playing, so I finally see him play uh, Cartesia and I'm not gonna lie, I just wanted to see where this went. Saw him summon Gargle Nargle Granguinol. He then activates the runic pop spell on my back row. I chain the Dust Devil on Granguinol because no thank you. And then after realizing he's pretty much out resourced, he scoops. Yeehaw. We won round one. Wow. Wow. What common D barriers. It is really common D barriers. Yeah, beating it's, Brian. It's disrespectful. <laughs> it's disrespectful. I hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> Bro. Well, I am happy I beat Brian. Well, Come just on. A little looper. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, feet in its own. No? Wow. You're just being nice because there's a camera rolling. <laughs> oh my god, it's Jason Bourne! 
Hello. How are you doing? Uh, I'm getting over my crippling depression <laughs> of uh, my performance. Losing the, your son, uh, yeah. OTS. It's tough. Did you win round one? I did. Aw, oh, see, that's, that's little, little victory. New deck, little new victory. me. Yeah. New deck, new deck, new me. God, it's Para. Para and this Ladies Ant -Man. and gentlemen, you already know what's going on. Chain the Man, Chain the Man TCG, most dynamic duelist. <laughs> I, you know, it's new format. Let me show y'all something though. That's you oh, know, oh, it's a little oh, teaser. Yo. <laughs> little teaser. So everyone's favorite card. You know, if I go undefeated, y'all get the deck profile. I can't go 0 4 and give you that one. So I gotta go undefeated. At least you know that. Para, <laughs> are you gonna win? Uh, am I? No. <laughs> he ain't gonna win. Wait, what? What? That is not hey, who I was I know expecting. I know why he's playing. Wow. Uh, I showed you my deck earlier. <laughs>just said I I'm gonna eat your D-berries. Anyway, um, I'll meet you over there. <laughs> oh Alright team, I'm here with the legend himself. Uh, a Luber, I mean Hector. He just really loves a Luber. He just killed Brian the previous round. Hey, I used to play Cash Cura too, what the hell? We were Cash Andes, but you know what? Now he summons a Luber. He's a Actually, traitor. <laughs> there is no Alubers in this deck, okay? It's all, this is He's all a liar. <laughs> Alright, round two against Hector. We both draw absolutely horrible. He goes first, sets two passes. Yikes, I draw for turn. My hand is also cringe. So I summon Fenrir, hope for the best. Activate, stake your soul, revealing Ash. Does not resolve, he ashes it. I poke with Fenrir, Fenrir control, baby. He draws for turn. We both laugh about how bad our hands are. Look at those, yuck. He goes and summons Mirror Sword Knight, attempts to tribute for activation. I ash it, he passes turn. I stake your soul again, revealing Ash. He ashes it. Wow, double ash, both of us, yikes. But good news is I have Drew Asperm. POV, my potential victory of my really good Vanquish soul deck. Battle face is fine. Mm. I will attempt to declare with Fenny with the good hair. Yep. <laughs> I will attempt to declare with the greatest card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Lewis Worm. Yep. And I lost. Damn, look at oh my god, that's a zero Hector. Oh. Alright, reveal to the class. Oh bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's done, chow. He's done. Hello, it's me, again, the loser. I lost to myself. I can't be mad at anyone but me. A friend next to us, we were having a little conversation. Ha 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 ha. Uh, John was playing dragons. He opened Lubellion for the third game in a row. We made a comment about it. He asked for a response. I was laughing. I said, yeah, sure. Just, dude, go ahead. It's yeah, all just you. Me just do it, bro. It's not a big deal. And I forgot that I had a bestial hand, and that was the moment that I had to get rid of the Lubellion so that I could actually win the game. And if that was what had happened, which it's not, uh, I would have won. And I didn't. Unfortunately, I was able to break the board, but I wasn't able to set up enough to beat his follow up. And then the timer was called. I paid 500 life points. I feel like that's a theme of the day. But uh, yeah. you know what? X2 right now. <sighs> Maybe round three. Well, surely. If you don't win round three, bud, I don't no. know. We might have to just... Purely. <laughs> oh, fancy meeting you here. It's just me and my sweet summer Gojo uh, hanging out in the weeb section of Millennium Games that you can now be a part of. There's manga everywhere as well as cool other weeb things that you and I can enjoy. But speaking of that, I won round two. I played against Hector, who uh, actually beat Brian round two, I guess. It was round two, one, one two, one, I don't know, whatever round Brian lost. It's a multiple at this point. Uh, wow. But I played against Hector, and it's funny because unscripted moment, I actually previously was talking crap to Hector. I ended up playing Hector, and he bricked game one, like set two pass. It was quite the grind. Our game two hands are both really bad, but it was a lot of fun. I love playing Hector. We have a good time. We banter. We bicker here at Locals. We're all just a big, goofy family that occasionally does terrible and sometimes does well, and that's me today. So let's see if we can win one more and at least get prize packs today, because the last day of the league and i'm really trying to squeak in there but who knows yeah i don't even want to talk about it i'm playing i'm playing a great deck okay great matchup but he nipped me wow his, his monster is looking up yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
look at this hand, Shifter. Wow, don't mind if I do. Quentin leads with a special summon of Fenrir to grab Tier Elements Cash Tira. We know this deck very well and know how powerful Shifter can be. No graveyard means no turn. Matter of fact, I liked his turn so much. I'm gonna start mine the same way with Fenrir. We're gonna normal summon our Raisin afterwards and grab Caesar. This is gonna trigger Quentin's Fenrir to take out mine. We summon our Pantera off the link and tag into Caesar. Insult to injury, we're gonna Prosperity and find our one of Magnema, Rip the Boy, and we're gonna banish our own Shifter to summon it so we can end phase, grab a Druus Worm, lock it in, and Quentin sees the writing on the wall. We're 3 0, baby. Jason Bourne, did you win? Oh, no. No, no. no I, I, after playing this game for over two decades, I still don't know how to read the cards. That's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you want me to say? I'm 2 1 right now. I just lost to Nib. I won't even say I won't even say the deck. I lost to Nib. It's all right. We're two one. We're going to the last round. Brian, what's your record? I'm uh. Damn, that's crazy. You know who's undefeated? <laughs> the, the number one. Hector, Quentin, all the shit. Gone. 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 Who gonna step to her? It's not gonna be me. It's not gonna be me. I'm at the bottom table today. Nick, my son, how are you doing? Um, I lost my first game. Um, dragons, they they always have the wyvern, dude. Of course they, they do. Got the <laughs> By the way, I have a Sanji for you if you want to thirst after your husband. Really? I have a Sanji yeah, for yes, you. Yes, I do actually want that very yeah. much. Because, so. like, if you weren't gonna thirst after him, I was. No, so. how can you not? Like, after that, I'm, I'm like, I get it. I don't know if this is accurate, but I get it now. Yeah. It's, it's completely accurate to me. Like, I wasn't even into guys before One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> Neither was I. We're back with the Frisbees from the old store. Discs, bro. Discs, my apologies. Discs. You know what else Yo, we're back with? The disc community would be so mad. Our first W of the day. <laughs> yep. This is round okay. three. <laughs> round three, whatever. Okay. Uh, I played against Adventure Synchron. Um, I did draw a Droll. That's something I talked about earlier in the video. We tried to main deck a Droll for some of these more rogue strategies moving into the beginning of the format. I was really pumped. I saw it. He goes, activate, right? I was like, this Droll is going to go so hard. And he searches, and then I'll pow. Droll, baby. Wow, Guess man. what? insane it was such a great feeling honestly pearly was just able to clear up from there and then game two it was the exact same interaction swoopy sweet baby he was really cooking at table 15. i was i was i was actually the last table but it's okay you know what we held it down we take the victories wherever they are every victory is a victory it doesn't matter Hi, I won round three. Isn't that wild? I played against Quentin, who was on tier. We actually had two tier players today. I think Para's also on tier at this point. Not sure why everyone decided now tier was cool, but it is better this format than it was last because we don't have Walking Shifter or Ice Heart Daddy anymore, but I did win. I saw Shifter and just other interruption. It feels really bad. I hate that I'm on like a shifter deck. No, I don't. I don't care. You know what? I don't care. I'm tired of acting like I don't like playing shifter decks. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Vanquishal, really good. You can play Biss Deals. You can play shifter. The deck is really cool. And you can play Tick Boo. You know what? Come at me. I like my deck. I think it's fun. It's not cash. And it's I'm, not flu. Yeah. And I'm sick of pretending that shifter is my enemy. He's, he's my friend. And you know what? I'd smash. But anyway, I won round three. Let's hope we can miraculously win round four. Uh, but if not, you know, I got my prize packs today. I got my prize packs. I got my points. All right, team, final round, game two. I'm going first and my hand is not promising. We have one line and it's Lily for my friend. I feel a bit safe though, knowing that I do have cross out for protection, but it's still quick play in the dream. We summon Pearly off to Sleepy and as per usual, Pearly whips. Well, kind of. We're able to pick up the field spell here, but that does effectively end our turn. We go end phase and attach Delicious for follow up. Ash, Judgment, cross out, y'all just better be enough. We're able to get to Baby Noir, so that means we do have a draw and of Nixie's monster face up. So if our opponent does make a push, we have follow up with the street and the my friend to end the game on the crackback. Our opponent is playing some blind second machine pile, and honestly, I'm not super familiar with their strategy. I see a normal summon of Cyber Dragon Core. This is a card I do know what it does and feels like a great spot for judgment. Our opponent goes battle phase and does clear the board and that provides the follow-up that we need, allowing us to trigger the street and the my friend. This pearly is gonna make us happy next turn, literally. And that's gonna allow us to close out the game. We were able to finally play and man, when this deck gets rolling, it is super hard to stop. We set up beauty, happiness, and an unaffected noir. Battle phase, baby. We're able to take round four, 2-0. Are there any to win? Wow. Yeah, wow. You did it. So, round four was a bit of a shocker. For me, when my opponent wins the dice roll and tells me to go first, that's a bit scary. We were able to pick up game one. Our opponent did not reveal what they were playing though as they just scooped when we passed over to their turn. Good news is we were also able to take game two even though we opened really suboptimal. We ended the day at 2-2, lost both of our losses in time. It's okay, it happens. But I do think deck building wise, we made some really good choices. I think moving into next week, we're gonna try to make a few more adjustments to see if the deck can be a little bit more consistent. I lost round four, unsurprised. When I found out I was playing against Ding, our resident dragon, Andy, I knew it was over, but you know what? We played in 
fought the good fight. Uh, he opens incredible every time, and I somehow opened the worst two hands I had seen all day. Game two, I sided nine cards to try and fight. I, I put in uh, Nib, Kaijus, and Droll. Didn't see any of them. Didn't see my four main deck fist deals. Didn't see Shifter. But I think Vanquish Soul is a really solid deck moving into the format, especially once we get Jiao Long and the new support out of Age of Overlord. So I'm trying to lab the deck and find what feels good for now. Even though I lost in round four to Ding, I still got my prize packs. I went three, one, and it feels really good. So you know what? At least you got to see some of my wins and my fumbling of playing. And you know what? It's fine. We all got to start somewhere. So you know what? It's a new season of Let's Top Locals, a new location, a new place, a new vibes to have, babe, so we'll take them. Angela, how'd you do today? I went 2-1-1. Uh, my pet deck performed pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. We gotta do some changes. But wow. I gotta Your pet I deck is runic? It's ru it's uh, runic bestial. No, no, no. Don't be high-fiving him. It's cool. Deckless coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Excuse me, double trouble? Uh, which one to use Lila? Which one to use Kiss a Kill? Uh, I'm definitely Kiska. I was gonna say you're in red and you're in blue, I'm so it actually is. I honest, I, I didn't even mean to make that joke until I looked at you guys. I'm like, oh, this is actually really funny. Now we're e-girl lovers. Oh, That's cute. Like, you know, oh. No. Oh, okay. oh what the? How, how'd you feel today, Jason Bourne? Um, it's different. This is a new world we're living in today with no cash Tira. Oh, um, we're so... playing a deck where we have to think. Ooh, and, gross. Um, <laughs> Wait, runic? You have to think with the runic cards, or is it just the live you, you, have, you honestly have to think too much. Um, at least for me. What'd you go today, Hector? Two, two? Two, two. Well, you and Brian were hanging out in the same boat. That's cute. It's my first two, two. He, he, uh, he's only one in time, bro. If I had <laughs> yo, he's still upset. He he you, two, well, we believe in Hey, soul. hey, hey. Get the trash talk. I went 3 1. I had a great day today. I only lost in round four because dragons always draw the best cards and they just always got it. And I drew unplayable. So that's fine. What'd you pull? What'd you pull, Scooter? Ladies and gentlemen. X1, baby. The you know, only loss was to Nip, but you know, it is what it <laughs> it's is. just Nip. You gonna wheel on yeah, out? I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta talk to him. See ya. Are you enjoying the new season of Let's Top Locals? Me too. And you know what you should do to help support the channel? That would be really super cool. You should join the Patreon. We just revamped the entire thing. It's really sick. Lots of amazing benefits for all tiers. And by just being in any of the tiers, you get access to our master monthly tournaments. These are patron only tournaments that will be streamed once a month on Twitch. Top four will be getting prizing and an invite to our master invitational, which will take place in one year. So you have 11 months to gather up an invite and all the decks for top four will be featured each month in the Patreon as exclusive posts. So if you like clicking buttons and activating maxi make sure you come and join the patreon the links are in the description box down below it would mean a lot and it helps us continue doing cool stuff just for you you matter thanks yeah. <laughs> people please like and subscribe to every video from crash card virus i mean but but motherfucker uh, motherfucker doesn't even know jason Bourne, yeah. what should the people do yes. you should like subscribe and do all of the things associated with the youtube channel the crush cards as do i